I got I got I got something from my, all my enemies. Remember the videos of like the break the b boy competitions between midgets? Uh, of course, those need to come back. I agree one hundred percent. It's also needs too. That. If you want to wear underwear, you go to MacWeldon. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's true. MacWeldon dot com underwear. All right, that's the end of the read. <laughs> 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 We're trying a new thing now. Where we do it real quick. MacWeldon dot com. MacWeldon dot com underwear dot com. Uh, Mac underwear dot com. Underwear dot com slash MacWeldon. Uh, 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 MW underwear. If you put MW, MW, you know, pussy, MW, MW, MW. Pussy. Mm. Price is subject to verification. Penis vagina. Penis, penis vagina. vagina. You put your penis in underwear. <laughs> People did nothing wrong. The Holocaust didn't happen. Nissan sales. <laughs> Participate in this. <laughs> 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 At participating dealerships, prices subject to verification. Twenty twenty nineteen. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Six million is too many. Six million is too many. It didn't happen. The pictures are all in black and white. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why aren't there any color pictures? Why aren't there any color pictures? They were documenting evidence. They had color photography at the time. You could have seen it. <laughs> Why are the doors made out of wood? Why are the doors made out of wood? Nissan sales event. Try. <laughs> Nissan extended sales event at participating dealerships. Yeah. It never happened. Mm-hmm. Mac doesn't. Weldon, man. If you think about the math, six million in three years, listen, it doesn't add up. He's, you know how many people you would have to kill a day? It doesn't even, it doesn't make sense. Listen, he makes them, listen, is one of the best research errors in history, but he is the fastest talking, quietest voice in the biz. You couldn't even kill that many dogs. Shut up. <laughs> so yeah, man, um, you know what they wore in the Holocaust was underwear. And mm-hmm. and striped pajamas. That's true. And Mac Weldon probably has pajamas. They probably have too. pajamas. I don't know if they. I have would stripes. imagine they have lounge wear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's some of the best motherfucking stuff in the biz, motherfucker. I don't accept it. Mm-hmm. I was actually. We only arrived after the apartheid, so that's, Mandela that's was in charge. That's not true. What do you mean? Your family was responsible for apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> you know that doesn't is. doesn't your family go way back in like the accounts for the slave traders? No, actually, no. Isn't that what Friedland means in South yeah. African? No, we were in the Eastern and Europe at that time, and <laughs> well, it's in Lithuania being very cold Jews. I don't think so. We're dude. just standing around. I'm so cold. No, d- it, what I'm happened was so his family, cold. his family was asked to leave Europe because the Nazis were like, "Look, we don't need any more names. Thank you. You've already earned your freedom. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys got to get out of here because it's going to look weird if you're the only family we don't kill. We have six million names. We don't need any more names. And then they went to South Africa. <laughs> And then there's a man that said, please have, share this coconut of peace with us. <laughs> and then they enslaved that guy and took his coconut. <laughs> you know the truth. The thing is that this is fucking... His, gra- his grandfather was like, it's so hot down here, I have to rape. <laughs> I have to invent raping. <laughs> it's too hot to not rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, God, it's, it's very funny. Isn't that right, Adam? Isn't that yeah. what Nick said? Yes, right? it's completely one hundred percent. It's real. Yeah, it was, <laughs> we were all part of Rhodesian uh, death squads. <laughs> me and my family. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude! That's my favorite podcast. atrocities. That's my favorite podcast. The, the Rhodesian Rhodesian digital <laughs> gas digital network is Rhodesian <laughs> death squad. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my parents had to leave because they were anti-apartheid and they were on a list by the secret police and we went back after mandela uh mandela. Came to power. yeah for how long wait you went uh, yeah i lived there when i was a kid for three years i didn't know that for two years sorry yeah what i turned age? four five and six. Oh, yeah interesting when i started school i went back to america and started school mm. so but i was in pre-k there but i had an oh, accent fuck. when i was a little kid you didn't start kindergarten until you were six years old i think no, no i started first grade i did kindergarten there oh, okay. yeah um, Damn, that's interesting. Yeah, too bad it's all lies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a cool story. It's sort of a redeeming story if it wasn't a complete lie. <laughs> yeah, cool. I don't know your family's <laughs> war criminal past. No, we were we were not. A couple of Jesse. My, gran- my grandfather. <laughs> couple of G- our Jesse Joyce's. My uh, grandfather probably um, did some shitty things. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. That means he knows and he doesn't want well, to no, say. Well, no, because he, he got super lucky and, like, made mo- Whatever. I don't want to tell Ooh, you. No, tell the story. Money. Made money. Uh-oh. <laughs> he was probably a pretty my cool dad says way. My dad thinks that he had uh, office buildings, and my dad suspects that his father rented 
office space <laughs> to the secret police. <laughs> but that might be bullshit. He was a <laughs> landlord for the shit. secret police. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That dude. is unbelievable. My grandfather would help the Nazis find deals. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Groupon he for the a, He was a yeah. broker. <laughs> but then my dad my This one has a nice view of the Blakes. <laughs> my dad ended up being on a on a list because they thought he was a potential political enemy and then they tried to draft him into the army and my he mom doesn't make agent. up for it. You know, I always thought about very like, visible. Yeah, so people talk about how Jews are annoying or whatever, and like the Holocaust. Yeah, that was very annoying. <laughs> then. No, they I, were being they were being really annoying during the Holocaust. No, prior to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, let's be honest, because people don't want to yes. like. People let's don't want to go because it sounds it's <laughs> no 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 no, 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 no. Let's hear him out. You didn't even hear what I said yet. I know. No, no, I'm no, interested. No. Free speech. I'm, I'm, free speech. Yeah, I'm interested. It's Let like, him do free speech. It's people don't want to like accept that unfortunately the Holocaust happened is because Hitler needed a better reason than they're like they're annoying. So he had to write this book and pretend that they were mm. controlling the world, mm. but really they're like they're just sort of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and like uh, that's probably what justified it in a lot of people's heads. They were <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yeah, I guess they're kind of annoying. Oh, and all this other stuff about the no, banks, too. Yeah. No. <laughs> you think it was an easy sell. You think In Hitler, Western Hitler Europe, looked around and he was like, geez, I need a fucking scapegoat. Well, yeah, I really do. And I it think, was like, poof. Well, no, there's there was that. A, there was a, a guy who owned a fucking bakery and a Jewish guy was like, oh, and I have an extra coupon from last <laughs> week. And then that guy was like, all right. There's yeah. the Jew. All right. Well, oh, yeah, I'll take your goddamn coupons like, every week with this fucking asshole. And then Hitler comes around and he's like, and they control the world. And he's like, I don't know about that, but I could do without this one guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a, that's a, um, that's a good theory, man. No, yeah. I mean, it's because like all these tragic things happen, like big things, and people don't want to accept that there's very simple reasons mm -hmm, for them. Mm -hmm. and yours you know, like Kennedy being murdered, people don't want to be like, oh, yeah, it was just some crazy loser. Right, it has right. to be this big conspiracy. With the mob. Right. It and, can't yeah. just be one fucking guy that wanted to kill the president. Yeah. Well, then you why know? did Jack Ruby kill? Because uh, he loved, he loved, loved the president. Yeah. He everybody, loved the president. Everybody loved the president. Yeah. Everyone loved him. JFK was getting pussy left and right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the mob probably killed Kennedy because it's funny. It makes sense to me. It's funny to believe that. Um, yeah. yeah, but they. So, they, but, but just to clarify, you think. A crazy. The explanation for JFK dying is a crazy guy wanted to kill him, and the explanation, the simple explanation for the Holocaust is that Jews were annoying. annoying. Yeah, and yes. <laughs> 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 All right, just putting it. Just wanted to get that um, clear. <laughs> you know, I. I <laughs> I just want to make clear the Holocaust is probably one of the most studied historical events and there's a lot of literature on, you know, the causes, the rise and the fall of the Third Reich. Um, well, then why did it happen, Adam? I mean, uh, we're, it's Occam's razor here. Uh, Germany was... Germany was economically depressed after World War I. Uh-huh. They and were, who is being annoying about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm so depressed. Yeah, we all are, asshole. It's a fucking great Hitler depression. Was yeah, in, but not like me. Oh, boy. Let me tell you about my day. Hitler didn't like, get into arts.